Hey guys, welcome back. Bolt Spider here, and we're going to be going through the full entire set list for the Speed Duel set that's coming out at the end of this month or soon for Europe. The reason why it's April 1st for North America and Latin America and South America is because they are stuck in port waiting to be taken off the containers for shipment. So it's going to be a little bit delay for Latin America and North America in general. I just want to point out some of the good and actually great reprints that there are for this whole entire set since there's quite a bit of GOAT format staples. First off, we're going to look at things like DD Warrior Lady, Degoichi the Battle Chanted Locomotive, Dunge the Lug, and Book of Moon. All four of these cards are f secret rares in the set. So this is great since we finally have a nice rarity for them all to share. Also on top of that, we do as well have Floodgate Trap Hole, Cyber Dragon for Reaper format or the format where it's legal. And we finally have a secret rare of Volcanic Rocket, which is very nice. Two of the other noteworthy secret rares are Destiny Hero, Dasher, and Plasma. So there's two more for that. The skill cards I'm not going to go into because it's a lot um, reading, but there's one that I want to take a look at, which is Crystal Transcendence. It is a Jesse skill, and flip this card over when you activate the skill. You can only summon set Crystal Monsters and Dragon Monsters while this card is face up. Once per turn during the main phase, you can send up to three cards from your hand to the graveyard. Choose that many Crystal Beast monsters with different names from your deck and place them in your spell and trap card zone as continuous spells. This skill can be used twice per duel. I really like this card for Crystal Beast and I cannot wait. And the other one that there is is another Jesse one, which is Rainbow Crystal Collection. You have, if a face up Crystal Beast monster you control would be destroyed, you could place a Crystallization counter on it instead. Monsters with crystallization counters are considered continuous spell cards in your spell and trap card zone instead of a monster. If a card with a crystallization counter would be special summoned, remove the counter. Cards with crystallization counters can be used as fusion material for ultimate crystal monsters. So there's some good reprints there. Other couple other reprints we have secret rare is Sapphire Pegasus and Rainbow Dragon. Now let's get into the constructed decks there are. So we have the Jaden Yuki deck. It has Avian, Bushin, Trick, Clayman, Sparkman, Bulba Man, Blade Edge, Wildheart, Necroshade, so all your essentials, along with Flamewing Man, Thunder Giant, Rampart Blaster, Steam Healer, Dark Bright, and Plasma Vice. A lot of cards that haven't gotten a reprint in quite some long time. Like, let's look at things like Steam Healer, Rampart Blaster. It's been about... 11 years since a lot of these got a reprint so it's nice to have them in another reprint again then we have the Astro phoenix desk with all the destiny heroes so you have doom lord diamond dude dasher dogma malicious and dark angel along with things like reinforcements of the army so there is that there for you and you have access to destiny hero dangerous Chaz Princeton Pack has the Armed Dragons level 3 through 7 and the VW Tiger Jet along with Ojama Yellow, Green, Black, Red, and Blue. So this is quite nice because there's just so much that you can do with the set as it's more so Ojama Knight, Ojama King control. So you can build an Ojama King control deck with a few tech choices of the Armed Dragons if needed or other cards. Then we have the Villian Crowler deck, Ancient Gear Golems. You have Ancient Gear, Gear Golem, Mechanical Chaser, a good normal summon back in the day. Giant Rex, amazing uh, recruiter that there is. Then we also have other cards like Ancient Gear Beast, Ancient Gear Soldier, Engineer, Knight, and Gadget. Ancient Gear Castle is a nice reprint along with Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, a big 4500 attack beats 4400 attack beat stick we have the alexis Rhodes decks you have dd warrior leader sonic bird warrior lady of the wasteland 
you have Elliot Cyber and a lot of things like Benton, Iditon, and Izana. Warrior Returning Live is nice. Machine Angel Ritual. Cosmic Cyclone being another common reprint is always nice to have. Then we have the Jesse Anderson deck with all seven Crystal Beasts. Cat, Mammoth, Carbuncle, Tortoise, Tiger, Eagle, Pegasus. So if you want to build Crystal Beast, pick up the cards from here because these are illegal to be played in the TCG. You also have Blessing, Promise, Release, Tree, Raigeki. That's all great and Rainbow Ruins. Crystal Seer being a good, good reprint because I remember people playing this back in 2007. And f then we have the Zane Truesdale deck with Cyber Dragon, another great card again. Cyber Phoenix, good for f past formats. Exploder Dragon, I remember people ran this back a while ago in things like Dragon Ruler and other formats before that. You also have Cyber Valley, great, great reprint. Future Fusion, Overload Fusion, those are great for past formats. And this is just all stuff great for past formats, in my opinion. Cyber End Dragon, Over Dragon, and Cyber Dark, Chimera Tech, Over Dragon. Interesting. Then we have Axel Brody. He has the Volcanic, so Volcanic Doomfire, Volcanic Blaster, Hammer, Rocket Shell. You have Tri-Blaze and Blaze Accelerator, so you have a core concept of what the whole entire Volcanic deck is without Scattershot, which is fine. Mitz is your very great trap card for this type of format. And then we have other non-skill cards. We have Hourglass of Life, which is the newest card being imported from the OCG. This is the only card that's been imported. We also have Big Koala, Moki Moki as our normal monster. So if you are collecting Moki Mokis, you have another print to get. A lot of the other reprints that are good, you have Don Zalug, Apprentice Magician, Des Kangaroo, uh, Rainbow Dark Dragon, Sphere Kribo, always great to have in this format. Master of Oz, VWX Seed Dragon, Book of Moon as a common <laughs> reprint. You also have Moki Moki Smackdown. I'm surprised that there's no giant Moki Moki, Moki Moki King. Right, Moki Moki King? Yeah, Moki Moki King. Surprised that that didn't get reprinted. Unless it did. No, it did not. I'm surprised this didn't get reprinted. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Uh, we have Ojama Country. Very, very nice. And Floodgate Trap Hole is a comment. So this is a very good set if you want to start getting into the game and picking up some nice reprints because I also have seen the some of the secret rares. They really look nice. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video. And... Goodbye.